All right, so I've got my uh, side of the fuselage drawn up here. Um, it's getting to the point where this plan is kind of fun to look at without uh, without the backing. So we got the plane without the scans starting to sort of sort of look like an airplane. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is create the top plan view of the fuselage, tracing over this, but at this point I'm really using a lot of dimensions that I already have. So I'm going to extend using my construction layer, which won't show up in the final plan. Um, I'm going to extend a lot of vertical lines from this fuselage um, at all the former stations. So I've got F F1 through F7 um, different formers and basically this is up here is just the top view. Uh, two of these fuselage sides can be pinned down on it to build that box. Um, and this top fuselage spar called a Longeron is conveniently flat so that once I build two of those, I can just pin them down over this top view. Um, so yeah, I have this shape to go from, um, but the real spacing, I'm just gonna go from here. And as I said before, just kind of ignore the loss of, of curvature that comes from um, taking two of these sides and bending them here. Um, on the plan, I'll just draw this length of the of the top view to be the same as the side view, and maybe a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch will be lost, but um, shouldn't affect the build. So, yeah, and the other, I guess the other constraint I kind of have, I know the tail comes to a point, and I know that I want the width at these stations, so between formers, uh, really between between formers three and four, but a little bit further up where this wing saddle starts. I want the width of the fuselage to be, um, looks like it's fairly constant as I drew it, so I'll keep it that way. And I want it to be the same width as uh, the outside of root rib to root rib on the wing, so that I have a nice balsa to balsa contact here, um, which, you know, is, is good for the structure as opposed to tissue on balsa, something like that. Um, yeah, so the, the layer here is locked right now, I'll unlock it to move this, but to get started I'll just use the uh, vertical line LV command, um, make it nice and long, 10 inches because there's nothing, nothing really in our way up here, um, and I'll just stick these down at a few former points. So um, you have to be a little bit careful here with this angled fuselage, I'll figure out what to do with that, but um, why don't I start by putting these at the, at the front half of the formers along, um, front half of the former stations along this top launcher on. So starting with F1, F2, um, I'm gonna put one here where the wing starts, um, just to mark that because I know that's where I want my width um, to be that constant uh, root wing cord. I'm gonna put one at F3T, four, five, six and looks like seven i haven't drawn yet but it's going to be right here so put that right there and finally i'll do one all the way at the end um i'll just go ahead and do two offset one sixteenth of an inch from each other um and yeah so you know what i'm also going to put one right here just because this is actually the bounding line for the wing um so really the what i need you know where i want the fuselage to start being that root rib uh distance root rib to root rib it's not a cord it's a just a distance uh is from right here start of the wing to the end and i already have a line here so i'll just keep track of that as i go um so now i need i need something to reference it against um and it looks like i did draw you know 1 16th about thickness cross pieces here so that'll that'll help me out um so four or five, and I kept these numbers the same as on the plan. So why don't I, I'll make a double thickness for four and five so that I have that full 1 16th piece and it looks like these should line up pretty nicely. So now I'll unlock the zero layer. I'm tiled, so I'm gonna move both of these together. Um, how am I gonna do this? Because I do want to see So if I... Okay, you know what I'll do is I'll, uh, so first, MV for move, um, and we're moving the four, so I'll select the, the front of the four station, 
and this is covering up the lines right now. There might be an option to change the draw order that would help me out, but what I'm going to do is just restrict the motion to horizontal. Um, so EH, so now wherever I drag the mouse, it's just going to move these images horizontally. Um, and down here where I can see the construction lines, I'm going to snap my pointer to the front. So I'll just go SA for uh, snap automatic, and it's automatically going to see one of these intersections, and I can use that. Do that, delete the original, I don't want double images. And now if I lock this zero layer, the construction line should show back up. Um, and it looks like that's lining up pretty well. Um, wow. Yeah, very, very impressed with uh, how well that worked, actually. Um, yeah, it looks like there's there's a few discrepancies, but you know, just based on how sketchy this whole thing looks, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so yeah, so next thing to do, um, I guess I'll throw a center line down, and I'll trust I'll trust this center line to be roughly in the center of all these stations um, for tracing purposes. So like a horizontal line, LH, um, and it's a long fuselage. So maybe give it 16 inches. Looks like that'll cover all the distance. Um, SF, so I can snap this anywhere I want. It's not snapping to a grid or anything. Um, and just, yeah, lay it on top of that pixelated line as best as I can. And that looks pretty good. Pretty good, nice. So yeah, so now I can kind of just start drawing and mostly I'll just make some arcs and trace what I already have drawn, and then I'll mirror it to the other side um, so that I know it's symmetrical, even if this drawing that I'm tracing over isn't. But first what I'm gonna do is go between these wing bounding stations, and I'll change these to uh, dash lines momentarily. And I'll also change the color of this layer uh, so that it's visible. So now I have orange dashed lines uh, at the front and back stations that I, I know I want to be uh, that width. So that width I keep talking about, I'll measure it right now to show you again. So it's from the outside of one root wing rib, and that's the, fr the flat center section of the wing uh, inside of the dihedral break where the wing curves up. Go to the outside, the other, that's 1.465 inches. So now we'll just make a couple of vertical lines of exactly that distance. And even if they're, um, even if they look a bit off from this drawing, they'll be consistent with the rest of this CAD plan. So I'll go to my outlines layer, which I'm using for kind of the final, final plan outlines, make a vertical line, 1.465 in the middle, and just overlay it on top of this orange line. And that looks pretty good. And it looks like I even, uh, looks like I basically drew it straight all the way back to F5. If I had to guess, I would say the real plane. Yeah, it's 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 a little tapered behind the wing, but, um, you know, so I'll just, I'll draw an arc back here and, and go with it. Um, I'm not too worried about the exact scale fidelity of this. Um, so yeah, I'll just do a straight line here. And yeah, that should be straight. So you can see, with the low drawing resolution of this program, um, you know, with these relatively thick lines, if there's any amount of angle off of horizontal, you can see that um, that stepping in the line that you're seeing right here. And only when it's exactly horizontal is it smooth, horizontal or vertical like here. Um, good, so I, I like that. Um, I guess one other thing I'll do is I'll take my spinner profile, nose cone, um, just so that I can, make a front profile that looks or you know what okay so that's actually further up because i have a taper part of the nose up here so i'll just throw that up here just to keep it in mind um so i'll want to eventually taper the nose up to just about the width of this spinner um, so i'll indicate the angle ia is the uh, hot key and a little slow two degrees exactly is what i gave it in down thrust so I'll rotate ro and minus two. Um, move this, restrict it vertically, and snap it to this line. So now I have it centered on the fuselage center line for when I get to that point. Um, you know, I could even move it horizontally. So MV, EH, and I'll just line it up with maybe 
I'll do the top of this. The original. So now I have the nose cone lined up pretty much close enough to where I want it to be. Um, so I want to, you know, have some sort of nice taper into that. Uh, just looking at the at this three view, you know, it's a very smooth curve. So I want to do something a little like that. Um, I think that I, I even drew these arcs coming in a bit too much. Um, I probably want them still at more of an angle like this, but for now it should be okay. And I'll, I'll trust this entry width for the nose. So I'll get started with drawing arcs. I'll just use A3. Um, and this is pretty much a straight line. I'll make it a little bit, a little bit curved. So ST, uh, you can see this option here, snaps my line to an entity, but does not snap it to a grid. So it's going to be along this line somewhere. SF to get out of that snap free. And I'll just give it a very slight curvature. QQ is the select option. And then D2 deletes that segment. Um, and if I wanted to, I could use this uh, round command, RN. Um, these are all available in the menu up here too. But you know, if I wanted to make some sort of filleted corner there, I could it's a pretty small angle, so say, you know, radius five, starting to make a little bit of a curve. And if trim is selected, it'll trim those lines. Um, so I could do that. Um, yeah, I actually kind of like that. So maybe I'll maybe I'll leave that in there. Um, just going from here, I'll make another three-point arc. And, um, you know, we'll see if this whole... Actually, you know what I should do is offset these because I know that this width back here is going to be 1 16th of an inch. So I'll divide this line so that I have this little segment here. OF for offset, 16th of an inch. And now this, oh, that again. This corner is where I'm going to taper that fuselage to because I know that that's the thickness of the half, fuselage half I'm going to build here. So um, snap this up there. And then I can make and delete the third point of my arc just to control that curvature. Um, so yeah, I want a nice curve, but I don't want this going up here. I want it to be start basically tangent to this line. We'll see how that looks. It's pretty good to me. And take a little zero. Yeah, I like that. Generally, you know, the fewer arcs you use, the nicer it's going to look, um, as long as it still kind of captures the shape of your curve. So. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. There's a nice fuselage outline. Um, and yeah, now I can kind of just start putting in those cross pieces. Um, I haven't yet sort of figured out what I'm going to do with the formers by the landing gear, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it um, and fill that in in the top too. But just to get started, um, yeah, just to get started, I can just start drawing these and I'll just draw along here down to the center line and then I can offset later. Um, here down to the center, down to the center. I already have that. And along here, it's down here. F3T, okay, so that's a former location. And yeah, a little bit off from the plan. I actually, uh, yeah, I did move that because I wanted this uh, station to be above the wing spar as I drew it, so you know, small modifications. Um, so yeah, just drawing these on, a little bit mindless task. Um, and you'll notice the, the stations where I just have one line, I'm just drawing one. And now what I can do is offset all of those. Um, and I'll, I'll hide my construction layer so I don't offset those. But yeah, now I can just go back and offset behind because my, my convention was drawing the front um, 1 16th of an inch. And finally, um, offset this perimeter. And uh, I have this fancy polyline option where I can offset connected lines and arcs, theoretically, although it looks like it's a little bit broken here. Uh, so maybe I'll just use the simple offset. And got a, not too many things here going on here anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll get those. And the only issue here is sometimes with the using individual offsets, you get some overlap here, which can create issues um, with parts, you know, if you're laser cutting or CNC or something, um, but I don't care about that so much here on the drawing. 
Um, I'll hide the dashed too. And now I can just uh, trim all of these because I have a continuous fuselage side and these cross pieces are just going between the two sides. So I'm doing all this work on one, you know, one half of the fuselage um, so that, yeah, so I don't have to do it on the other. Um, and yeah, I might have some little extra pieces here from offsetting uh, these ones since it'll just offset normal to the line. So if you, you know, if you care about that, you can delete those. I'm not really worrying about it right now. And finally, I'll just close this up. So vertical line, lengthen this a bit and trim both those ends. And yeah, so it looks like a, a half of the fuselage top. Um, pretty much done. Um, so yeah, I want to, you know, mirror this whole thing. Um, if I don't want doubles of these, I could, um, on my dash showing, I could just, you know, divide these lines along this midpoint. So I'll take DI, and that just breaks something that you select and then select a point along it. I'll take these two, delete, and now when I mirror, um, I'll be, I won't be doubling up anything, if that makes sense. So now I'll lock my construction layer so I can just select, um, mirror, and take any two points along the center line. Keep original here. I, I usually keep original when I mirror, um, unless I, for some reason, have something backwards. Um, yeah, so now I have, now I have that projected view. Um, slightly too long, but, but nonetheless usable. And I'll probably add more details into this, um, you know, maybe a few more pieces. I might even add a former in here, but that is the process of fuselage side to fuselage top.